The position of chief engineer for the Mahoning Valley Sanitary District is a pretty important one. That job oversees the supply of clean drinking water for roughly 280,000 people. But there appears to be a debate brewing over who should fill that job and whether the man there now will ultimately be able to keep it. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti explains what's happening. Anthony Vigorito has been working as the chief engineer for the Mahoning Valley Sanitary District the last 18 months. He still does not have either his Class 4 operating license from the Ohio EPA or a professional engineer's certificate the district requires. But the president of the MVSD board tells me Vigorito just needs a little more time. We've asked him to operate the plant. We've asked him to go back and get two professional licenses at the same time. I think that's asking a lot of an individual. Facing a February EPA deadline for Vigorito to get his certificates, the MVSD board voted last night to begin looking for another chief engineer. But statements fellow board member Matt Blair told a local paper about the decision aren't sitting well now with Hudson. Those statements were premature at best, uh, juvenile and amateurish uh, at the least. Hudson claims Blair is simply looking to replace Vigorito permanently, something Blair argues isn't true. At no time did I receive a phone call from Rufus Hudson to even ask me what had been discussed. Hudson tells me his intention is to only make a temporary replacement. We have to have someone in place uh, that has those credentials on an interim basis until such time as we feel that Anthony gets his. Speaking of what's, what's amateur, that's amateur because you, you, when you, you go out to recruit somebody, you don't want to be recruiting on the basis that they would only be an interim. While Vigorito tells me he recently took his engineer's exam and is submitting information to get his EPA license, his contract as chief engineer runs out at the end of the year, leaving the two directors at odds over his future. In Mineral Ridge, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.